I'm headed down to Big Pine and the Lower Keys to visit a Garden of Eden. Patrick! But first, I need to find my guide for the day. Welcome to Grimmel Grove. First year, nice to meet Pleasure. you. Pleasure! Well, this place is amazing. Grimmel Grove is a legendary uh, tropical fruit grove, uh, first uh, invented by an uh, inventor named Adolf Grimmel in the 1950s. And in 2013, I had this great idea to turn it into an edible community park. One of the great things about Grimmel Grove is they have both guided and self-guided tours. I found out pretty quick, this is a working farm. So Christina, you thirsty? Oh yeah. Get ready to crank some sugar cane. <laughs> this is how they do it back in the day. Woo, really gotta put some muscle in there. That's this. right. You don't gotta go to the gym today. <laughs> wow, that's a lot. Yeah. All right. I can actually like taste the sugar. Is this like the original energy drink? Sure is, it's a jolt. <laughs> I discovered there's one fruit Patrick is especially passionate about. A fruit he thinks can revolutionize the fight against world hunger. Yeah, the breadfruit's my baby now. And this is the only grove of its kind to be found anywhere in the United States. Uh, like a potato, um, but it actually ripens. And so the starch is turned to sugars and you can do um, Savory, you know, you can do both savory and sweet dishes. So you can do like breadfruit chips, breadfruit fries, custard dishes from it. Sounds it. like you can make just about anything. You can make flour thing. from it. You yeah. can even make vodka. It's a superfood. One breadfruit tree can feed a family of four for a lifetime. So now that we're done with the tour, uh, I'm going to take Christina over to the tasting table, and we're going to have a little morning uh, fruit breakfast. Grimmel Grove is a—it's a foodie experience here. I can tell that right now. So first things, try this one right here. Whoa, man. Chocolate? Is it chocolate? You got it, chocolate, yes. Oh my gosh. You know, chocolate comes from the seeds of cacao. The white stuff is the fruit, and the seeds is actually where chocolate comes from. I just learned something right now, because I never cool? knew that. This looks beautiful. Are you familiar with this one? Something about passion? No, it's dragon fruit. Dragon? Dragon fruit. Oh, it I've... grows on a cactus. This is a red variety. There's just a hint of sweetness there. A little earthy with a hint Yeah, with the very hint of earthy. Yeah. I've saved the best for last, Christina. Ooh. Try this one and tell me what you think it is. Yeah? Is this the breadfruit? This is the breadfruit. <laughs> oh my god. Isn't gosh. it amazing? This is incredible. I don't think I'm gonna be going back to regular chips after this. Christina, one last thing before you go. Yeah? Remember that vodka I was telling you about? How could I forget? Well, here you go. Whoa. Let's, have, let's have a toast. <laughs> yes. To uh, breadfruit, the most diverse fruit in the world. Only in the Florida Keys. Only in the Florida Keys. Gotta love it. Here we go.